one-dimensional motion. In this lab, you will be measuring one-dimensional motion of two objects, yourself and a tennis ball. In the first part of the lab, you will be walking back and forth in front of a sonic motion detector. This makes chirps of sound, which bounce off an object and come back to the receiver, to let Logger Pro calculate how far away that object must be. You are going to be walking along some predetermined graphs that already exist in Logger Pro, and you are going to be trying to match those graphs with the way your body moves. There is a possibility that while you're doing this, you are going to get aliasing effects, which look like this. These effects are due to the fact that if the sensor loses an echo, it will assume the next echo is the missing one, and you will get drastically different positions because of that dropped echo. This is most likely either due to this being aimed poorly or the fact that you, as a person, are not really a great echo material. So think about what you could do to make yourself be a better echo material. In the second part of the lab, you are going to be throwing a tennis ball in front of your backdrop as straight up and down as possible while filming it on one of our cameras. After you film the ball traveling up and down, you're going to import that video into Logger Pro and analyze that motion using, our, using Logger Pro's video tracking software. By telling exactly where the ball is at any given frame of the video, you can analyze its motion much as you did when you were walking in front of the sensor. One thing that you need to know about these cameras is that since they can film in several different video modes, the viewfinder on the back of the camera is much bigger than the actual footage that will be recorded. So make sure that you're lining up to the letterbox in the viewfinder when you're filming so that your motion doesn't go out of the frame of the video. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. The Stegosaurus had been extinct for at least 50 million years before Saturn's rings started to form.